the shout out to Hoop Shark, man. I'm gonna add you to the to the crew, man. This crew called Hoop Shark. They've been they've been getting at it, man. They go they the ones that's gonna grill you, man, because they they majority are all Houston people. So that's that's shout out to Hoop Shark. Shout out to Hoop Shark. What up, everybody? It's your boy Hoop Jargon back with another video. And before I get into the content, take a second to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, please. All right, let's get it. Now, I know it's been a while since I've been on. Just handling some personal stuff, handling business, but I'm back. And I got to just start off with this crazy story going on with Coach Anthony Hardaway at the University of Memphis. And it seems like, man, anytime this dude gets some traction going, anytime he gets something, you know, uh, worth of <laughs> mentioning, going on with the program here comes some bs as we already know the estranged imani bates situation where one of the number one recruits is no longer part of your program and if you ask me never really was down with the program has gone on they won the the conference tournament they beat boise state in the first round of the tournament and barely lost to the number one seed which is gonzaga so I got to give Penny his props, man. He turned the program around from a situation that could have been a program killer, which is from dissension. But let's move on. Now, what we're currently talking about is some quasi-serious sanctions that may come down on the program. And what they're saying is former coach Mike Miller, y'all know him from the Miami Heat, from the Memphis Grizzlies, sharpshooter, sniper. Former coach there who currently uh, is an agent and coaches at the high school ranks has had an investigation where his computer basically did not have data on it because it got reformatted, thus preventing information that could have been recruiting violations. So the article doesn't go through a lot, but that's the crux of what's going on. And so what they are, uh, are asserting is basically Anthony Hardaway has a lack of in institutional control, and that is grounds to fire a coach at the um, collegiate level. We saw this happen with Rick Pitino. We saw this happen with uh, Pete Carroll. So this is just a precursor to what they may start investigating. But again, the article is kind of vague. I mean, just Mike Miller reformatted his computer. So which means is they're trying to find anything. So, you know, <laughs> and as we understand with James Wideman, he had uh, some recruiting situations that some people said were illegal. Obviously, James Wideman didn't play what, but a handful of games his, uh, his collegiate career. So people are kind of trying to sniff around and find if Penny Hardaway is, is violating anything. And so I think we'll see more. In my opinion, in my assessment, this is a pretty weak case. But it was enough to report. So here I am reporting it. But I wouldn't worry so much. I think Penny will come out this unscathed. I don't see this having uh, long-term ramifications unless they start finding other stuff. And this is just a precursor to other things coming down the pipeline. So I'm not worried right now. Much success to the Memphis program. Much success for uh, Coach Anthony Hardaway, much success for Coach Mike Miller and everybody else, man. So until next time, that's all I got. Hoop jogging, I'm out. Peace.